Hello everyone, Oria Gruber here, presenting my project in the course Java Programming in Web Environments. The project is a simulation of a memory management unit. From now on I'll just refer to it as an MMU. And I will attempt to explain in this video and uh, present what I did. So, in order to perform their tasks, computer processes need to read and write information to and from the virtual memory, the RAM or the CPU memory. The virtual memory is limited in size and is deleted as soon as the computer is turned off. For these reasons, modern computers have physical memory as well. This is the hard drive or the hard disks, which is very cheap, so it is basically unlimited in size, and it is not deleted upon shutdown. The role of the memory management unit is to trade information from the virtual memory to the physical memory and vice versa, as to give each process the information it needs, but at the same time avoid the loss of data from the shutdown. The architecture is fairly simple. A process requests a page from the memory management unit. The MMU then uh, checks if the page is present in the virtual memory. If it is, then it returns it to the process. And if it isn't, then it applies a paging algorithm to trade the page we want from the physical memory with another redundant page from the virtual memory. As far as paging algorithms go, one such algorithm that I implemented is called LFU algorithm, or least frequently used. What we do here is we keep a counter of how many times each page was used, and each time we need to replace a page because we ran out of room in the virtual memory, we take the page that is the minimum of this cache counter, the page that was used least frequently out of all the pages. Now, in the process class, we read the JSON file that I got from the, uh, the tutor, and we put the information in another class called process cycles, which contains all the information that the process needs the things it needs to write to the pages, which pages it requests, and the sleep time. And this is what you see right here. We request the pages from the MMU, the MMU.getPages, and then we write to a log file with the MMU logger. Now, this isn't done in parallel to avoid confusion in the log file, but writing to the uh, new pages that we got and sleep is done in parallel. So, uh, this project is multi-threaded. Now, the memory management unit is the main, un the main class of this project, and what it receives is the page IDs that some process requested. As I said, it checks if, it's, uh, if the RAM is full and if the page is inside the RAM, and if it isn't, then we do a uh, page replacement, as you can see. ID of move to HD page, algo.put element. This means that we're putting another element inside the uh, hard disks. And what algorithm we use, this is unknown to, the, uh, to, to this class. We use a strategy pattern. Algo here is an interface, as you can see here in the, uh, the constructor. Now, MMU driver is the entry point to this project. Very simply, it checks if we want to remote play or use a server. Uh, let's focus on remote play for this, uh, for a uh, local play for this demonstration. And as you can see, it simply creates a new memory management unit. It reads the configuration file, and it does all the logic of run processes, which I just went over. And then, after all the logic is done, it reflects that to the user with model and view. When the view appears, when the user interface appears, all the logic is already over. Now we are just parsing over the log file. Now let's do a presentation of how all of this actually looks like. Let's run the program. And you'll see that a user interface popped up. The RAM capacity is 3, and we have 7 processes. We are reflecting this log file. This is the log that we are reflecting. As you can see, it's the same thing. RAM capacity is three, seven processes. Let's hit play three times. We now reflected these three lines. Let's do it two more times. We now reflected these two lines. Every time I hit play, I advance one more line in the log. The logic was already done. Now we are just reflecting it in our user interface. Now, 
I implemented a scroll bar that will actually hit play uh, as fast or as slow as I want. Let's do it like super fast. Let's do it instantly. Here, it's done. Now, if we reset, I'll be able to show you that we can actually hide processes as well. Let's say that you're not interested in seeing what's done in uh, process number one. We can actually hide it. As you can see, it's hidden from you. You can't see what's going on here. But if we do it again, the other processes are still visible. Now, this was done locally. We, can we could also do uh, remote play. Let's activate our server and let's log in. Here you go. Now, what you're seeing is the same user interface, we are just reflecting a different log file. And in this log file, the RAM capacity is uh, 8, we have still 7 processes, but the, the order of the log file is completely different. The previous one started with pages 1, 2, and 3, now it's 5, 6, 1, 2. We can still do the same things with the uh, scrolling, the, uh, the speed, we can still hide processes, same things we are just reflecting a different log file. I hope this was uh, informative and that you enjoyed this presentation and uh, thank you very much.